Uh, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the Cool Graphic Design Training. I believe we're doing great today. Uh, today, I want to show you amazing tricks on PC Lab as usual. In this uh, tutorial, I'm going to teach you two things. The first thing is I'm going to show you the hidden feature in PC Lab, how you can blur any object. I'm going to show you that one. Then I'm going to show you the wrong way that uh, most uh, graphic designer normally use in mask an object in pixel lab so without wasting much of our time let's get started so the first thing i need to do is that if you want to mask let us zoom you out this as you can see so if you have something like this you want to mask an image into this particular shape first of all bring out these images then you bring out this that you want to merge. Let us zoom. This is how you want it to be. You can see, right? So what you need to do is that you need to just save them first separately with transparent background. So since I want to use all that, I want to, I will save it with transparent background, delete it, make the second one obvious. Then I will save it with transparent background too. So after that has been done, then I will delete the second one. Okay. So after that, then I cannot use the background of my choice. So I will go back to my gallery. What I just saved, I will bring them one after the other. You can see, right? So I will go to my texture. I will use that image as a texture. You can see, right? So what you need to do next to make it okay now, you will now go back to your gallery then bring back that image so once you bring it bring it in just go to your mask and cut out any part you want then look at this amazing so instead of you uh, or or use your mask to be cut, cut out the bottom another that will not make it to be right so it won't be okay it won't be fine and you can see that right so let's have this one save first. So the next thing I'm going to do, even before saving that, let us I want to have uh, some uh, blur shape uh, under this to make it uh, look uh, amazing. So what will I, what I need to do is to go to the shape. So let me have this one lock. So I will go to the shape. So getting to the shape, I can make the shape to look a uh, let's say circle. So you can see right. So the next thing I need to do is to go to um, opacity, make my opacity to be zero. Then uh, my stroke, I will increase the stroke as you can see. So I will make my stroke after increasing the stroke to the edge like this. Then you can make this one so that there won't be any space in between again. Okay. Make it in such a way that there won't be any space in between okay perfect so after that the next thing to do is to just go to the gradient color then you tap on the gradient don't use the color tap on the gradient for us to be able to see so after that the next thing to do is to set it the gradient to the color you actually wanted so take it for instance i want uh, this kind of a color I want it for both and the second one so make it deeper a little bit then the hidden feature now blur radius will be shown you see it at the button you can make it uh, uh, shown like this and you can see just look at it so how will you make it uh, work after that just close it then you can increase and you can see look at the blur radius you can see so if you don't want it to show like that just close it so that there won't be space in between and you can see so we have our blur radius so we have our blur so you see you can blur any object any shape you can blur it and you can have this one change even if you want it will still be blur so you can see just close it to make it uh, and if you don't want to close it you want to just increase the opacity and you have the color change to that then you can still have your blur stuff so you can see so another thing you amazing thing you can still do is this 
so you can still have a circle you understand have a circle like this so when you have a circle you can position it under this by sending it to the back and you see the amazing tricks so very simple right so this is just uh the hidden feature and in pixel lab that you might not know before so i believe one learned something from there god bless you so you can have any shape any shape and if you don't want it to show like that just remove the opacity and you have all your work and another thing you can still have let's assume you have a circle like that you can reduce the stroke so you can see reduce the stroke so when you reduce the stroke very well reduce the stroke you can reduce the blur radius as well to be somewhat tiny then what you need to do is to just send it to the back okay send it to the back then you have your work you have the tips like this so depends on the, how you want it so it's very very simple so another thing you can still do with it it depends so let's assume i want it to be shaped so shaped like that then i will go to blur radius i will increase it i will increase the stroke so then i will go to my blur radius and make it uh, blurry very well then you can see the amazing things so this can be merged together you can see you can merge it together okay why you merge it you have it somewhere so let's have the uh, the size to be changed so you can have it so you can see so another amazing thing is uh, about this or the regular way of how people mask so some people if they want to mask they have their shape like this you can see they have their shape like this so after having their shape like that now they want to mask an object so they will bring this one here so they will reduce the size so after reducing the size they will position it like this they will now go to the mask and be using the mask to cut it you can see which cannot give them the perfect results so they will be using the mask just to cut out the pet so this cannot give an accurate result stop using that and i believe we'll learn something from this one may god bless us so instead of you doing that you can follow the previous process so you don't need to do that just save each of these objects as i said save it one by one then you will apply it use it as a tester and you use a, a mask to cut out the part immediately thanks for watching god bless you